Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and I want to give you a bit of an update about where we're at with the Random X development. So, progress is very much underway. Like I've mentioned, it's been happening now probably for the last uh, maybe six or seven weeks, give or take. The problem that we're kind of running into at the moment is basically the the validation of the blocks that are coming in from Random X. So, if you were to picture you've got two miners over here, this one makes a block this other node over here then has to validate it afterwards now the problem that we are running into is like you're seeing here on the screen here this lovely issue i'm getting a whole lot of errors pop up basically around that and this is due to the seed that randomx is using and the way that it is being implemented now this is all just part and parcel of the way that these kind of implementations go and in fact this similar issue is what was holding us up with prog pow uh with christy lee uh, basically encountering something similar in the way that this is being uh, implemented into a Bitcoin based blockchain, which Digibyte is. We use their code base uh, for our foundations. Now, the developer is obviously very confident that we can get this sorted. It's just taking a little bit of time. It is underway and we've basically been setting up these test nets and tearing them down and setting them up and tearing them down and making another one and testing and testing and testing and we are doing sometimes like four or five six builds of digibyte a day and then setting it up on five or six different nodes to test and running through it and it's it's basically it's part and parcel about what happens when you are bringing out a new release like this it happened similar sort of thing with autocrypt similar sort of thing happened previously before that as well when we were doing segregated witness and all of that kind of fun stuff so this is not out of the ordinary, and I wanted to kind of give you a bit of a heads up and let you know just where exactly we are at, what the delay has been there, and we're pretty confident still that it'll be sorted very soon. So, again, I want to give a big shout out to the developer. Thank you for all your hard work and blood, sweat, and tears that you are pouring into this. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure being able to work with you to get this sorted, and especially how much we've already accomplished to date. It's brilliant, so thank you. Now, on the topic of random X, I've got a bit of a, I suppose, a kind of proposal that I wanted to run past the community. Now, I want to prefix this by basically saying, as I do in this Medium article, that I am a stern believer that any kind of mandatory or required donation or fee or anything along those lines is a terrible, terrible idea. It's just got bad news written all over it. Bitcoin Cash, I think, were the latest ones to try and propose something similar to that, and it just, yeah, not a fan. Same for the likes of the block rewards that we see in Zcash. It's, yeah, just, I'm, I'm very anti that. However, I do like the idea that people could optionally choose to donate a portion of their hash rate. So I've basically given a little bit of a history here, um, and then I roll forward, and... I basically say here, mobile mining is something that a lot of people would like to see in the future, and I would like to have a way to basically uh, fund that and incentivize that. So uh, I say here specifically, I'm interested in trying the mining funding that. Now, not through any mandatory or required block reward. So this is going to be different. At the moment, my suggestion is uh, we have the most popular random X uh, mining software is known as XM Rig. And as part of XM Rig, 1% of your hash rate or one minute out of every 100 will swap over mine for the developer and then swap back and carry on mining. So at no point are they actually taking any of your cryptocurrency. For example, if you are mining, uh, I believe it's QRL, um, it'll basically swap over to a Monero pool for that one minute and then swap back to mining QRL for you. So you still get 100% of your own rewards. It's simply your hash rate, which is sent for one minute out of that uh, 100 to their, uh, I suppose, like, donation pool. Now, the theory behind this is that we could, instead of having that 1% go to the Monero and XM Rig developers, they have um, put details in there and basically said they are okay with that um, basically going elsewhere. 
And so that's my proposal, is that instead of it going to uh, XMRig, that 1% that instead goes to a development fund that we have that we could use to effectively pay for somebody to spruce up a really nice looking and pretty looking uh, one one tap miner, I suppose it's a tap, not a click, one tap miner for Android that people could use to fire up their cell phone at night, hit the button and have it mine, place it on the charger and then go to sleep. That's kind of the idea there. And so this is something that I wanted to get a bit of feedback on. Do you think it's a good idea? If not, if you don't like it, the thing is, is this is completely optional and you can use the official XMRig releases. Uh, which do, as I mentioned before, and the donation goes through to the XMRig developers. Or, if you even want, there is documentation out there that will guide you through the process of entirely removing it. The developers basically have requested, uh, out of respect for them, that people don't go publishing those binaries uh, with that removed. So, yeah, um, that's something that I kind of... I wanted to try a different way of us funding something. And so optionally, completely, completely optionally, and that's the key part there. If people wanted to, they could use this specific version of XMRig, which points it to Digibyte for one minute out of a hundred and support the development that way. Now, I'm not convinced that it's going to earn millions of dollars overnight, far from it. And in fact, I think it might only earn a couple of dollars a day sort of thing. But over time, I kind of get the get the feeling that that could build up enough over a few months, six months, who knows, to the point where we have sufficient funds there to go and get an Android developer to make a one-click miner for, for Android. So at the moment, uh, iOS, I don't believe is going to be something that is going to be workable because you have to release it through the App Store and Apple have basically gone, nope. No, thank you. So it, it would probably just be an Android thing only at this point in time, but hey, who knows what the future holds. So if you are interested in something like this, I'd love to hear from you uh, below with your thoughts, both for or against. If you are for it, would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear uh, why you think it would be a great idea incentivizing people to mine with that instead of using the official XM rig. Or perhaps uh, if you are against it, tell me why. I'd love to know why. And perhaps there are some concerns that we could address or overcome. Or maybe you're right. Maybe it's just a bad idea for us to do something like that and we scrap it. Who knows? So again, though, I just want to come back and say this is completely 100% optional. It is not mandatory. It's not enforced. It is not required in any way, shape or form. And the reason that we are making random X compatible with all of the existing software that is out there is because we want people to have choice we want people to have options we want them to have actually i tell you what let me quickly i'll bring something up here let me bring up this is some mining software here so this is awesome miner i've used this myself previously when we were mining uh skein and myriad grostel on uh, some of my older graphics cards can't mine it on your graphics card or cpu now um, it's just completely unfeasible. However, uh, awesome miner, I'm going to this link because I'm going to show you a couple of these links here. Let's just really quickly bring them up. Uh, yeah, here we go. So this is one such piece of mining software that will support random X. And as such, you can use this with Digibyte with no changes required. So this is really important because I want to drive home the the fact that we are going to be making it compatible with all of the existing software. We're not pigeonholing people into, you must use this particular miner, you must use this particular iteration. If something is currently compatible uh, with the existing RandomX uh, implementation from Monero, it should also be compatible with Digibyte, with the required changes taking effect at the pool side, rather than at the end user uh, node side. Um, so what they do here specifically, this was the one that I was really interested in because they mention here that a lot of these other ones do have developer fees. Uh, RagerX.lol, in fact, we can even bring this up, RagerX, because this is really quite cool. Um, they also do have, it says down here, there is a, a pool fee and things, uh, sorry, a minor fee rather than a pool fee. Um, XMR Stack RX as well as another one that also... Um, has a pool fee rather than a minor fee, but you kind of you get where I'm going with that that a lot of these different ones um, Do have donations 
yeah, here we go. So the official XM rig, one uh, one minute out of every hundred. SRB minor is zero point eight five percent. Interesting. That's come down. That's quite cool. Uh, nano miner is another one that you can also use and I guess the key part here is, is that you can fire up any of these in the future this is our goal that you can use all of them it will be compatible uh, actually speaking of Rager X um, I actually really quite like what they've done with an entire operating system I've reached out to them I've asked them if they would be willing to support Digibyte they've basically said that at the moment their development uh, pipeline is full in the short term However, they're open to the idea, and so I think that's really quite cool. Um, it was just a very brief conversation, but thank you to Rager X for being open to the idea. Um, and I think that's really quite awesome that they would support Digibyte. So I'm going to leave it there again. So just want to reiterate that this would be completely optional. Sing out down below. Tell me what you think. Um, let me know. Good idea, bad idea. Run with it. Scrap it. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, so you can reach me down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter at DGB underscore chilling. Leave a like, hit the subscribe, share this video around with other people that you think might be interested. And one final note, I just want to reiterate that at the moment, RandomX is not currently online. It is not in the blockchain. It's not um, being agreed upon or anything like that. This is something that we are in the testing phases of, and that is it. So no, no point in trying to fire it up in mine like I've seen a few people do after my last video, which was hilarious, but I love the enthusiasm. So that's going to be all from me for today. Take care, and I will talk to you in the next video. See you tomorrow. Cheers.